Black History Minute. Brother, do you know who Thomas Jennings is? Per usual every week, I have no idea. <laughs> they didn't teach you about Thomas Jennings in uh, in high school, huh? I don't think so. I didn't think so. No, uh, Thomas Jennings was an African-American inventor, tradesman, entrepreneur, and abolitionist in New York City, New York. He has the distinction of being the first African-American patent holder in history. He was granted the patent in 1812, 1821 for his novel method of dry cleaning. You get your clothes dry cleaning, don't you, brother? Sometimes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. well, there's a brother that invented that process. His invention uh, combined with his business expertise yielded a significant personal fortune, which he then reinvested into the abolitionist movement in the United States. Um, <clears throat> Tom Jones was born January 1, 1791 to a free <clears throat> excuse me, African-American family in New York City. He later married a woman, Elizabeth, who was born a slave in Delaware, 1798, and died March 5th, 1873. Under New York's uh, gradual abolition law of 1799, she was converted to the status of indentured servant and was not eligible for full emancipation until 1827. If free... If freed slave children born after July 4, 1799, but only after they had served apprenticeships of 28 years oh, for men and 25 years for women, far longer than traditional uh, apprenticeships designed to teach a young person a craft, thus compensating owners for future loss of their property. Oh, smoke. Jenny and his wife had three children, Matilda, uh, Elizabeth, Oh, Matilda, James, and Matilda was a dressmaker and wife of James A. Thompson, a mason. Uh, Elizabeth Jennings became a school teacher, activist, and church organist, and was the wife of Charles Graham, whom she married on June 18, 1860. James E. Jennings was a public school teacher. Jennings was the leader of cause of abolitionism and African-American civil rights in the United States. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go into the whole thing, brother, but basically uh, the man made all this money and he bought a lot of his other family members, outstanding family members who are still slaves. He bought them out of slavery. He bought them out of slavery. In other words, you know, it's a lot of times where some uh, white people will say, well, Black people own slaves too. Yeah, they bought their families out. <laughs> they, they purchased their family members out of slavery. Uh, so don't go for that okie doke sometimes that they'll tell you, oh, well, black people own slaves too. Uh, they were buying their family members. Anyway, uh, all right, here we go. Uh, blind guy, his wife, their life. The Black History Minute is always appreciated. I've never heard of him. Until now, either yeah, uh, BG. I, I, you know, what I'm saying I, I haven't heard of them either, but uh, I'm glad I looked them up, man, because I try to, you know, give our children some, some information on the people, man, because that's how, that's how uh, your children get strong when they know their history backwards and forwards, they get stronger like that. Let's see what BG and his wife always got some good to say. Look, exactly, they were saving. A family from by a friend. Yeah, I know. See, but a lot of times, if you tell, uh, especially in particular Caucasian people, if you tell them, hey, you know, um, if you talk to them about slavery and, and how bad it was, they'll say, well, black people own slaves too. But this is the this is the circumstance that they own them. <laughs> it wasn't to own them and they owned the a big uh, plantation. They had them working on plantations. They were buying their family members. Uh, but anyway, that had to be broken right. down. Anything to say about that, Brother Jarvis? Any comments? Uh, no, sir, Big Brother. Uh, well, you know, um, somebody like a Larry, you know, if, I don't know if anybody out there knows the man. He's running for, what, governor in California? Anyway, he's a black Republican. Right. Somebody like him 
would say something as foolish as this black folks own slaves too, you know. Right. But you know, but you know, being a black man, he wants to put everything that happened to us on us. And he takes the devil off the cross. So something like this, to say, you know, black folks own slave, he would say something as foolish as that. You know. Yeah. And I've heard people call him up black and try to explain to him the slavery that you're talking about, they were talking about in Africa, was never like the slavery. Yeah. You know, no, totally different like situation. Before. Well, I mean, that's maybe we need to break that down on another yeah, show. Yeah, it, it was a more of an Okay, yes, sir. All right, big brother. All right, yeah, we'll break that down on another show. Uh yeah. right now we gotta we gotta get through, we gotta fly yes, through it. Uh wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I always have to say this. Don't take our word for it about Thomas Jennings. Go look it up for yourself. Dig that. Okay, let's go into your money. The STEM C job of the week. Brother, do you know what STEM stands for? Uh, I think you gave the label science, technology, engineering, and math. The M, I'd right. rather have manufacturing, but that's cool. Math and C stands for, I forgot what the C stands for. The C stands for, that's, I put the C on for communication. It means you know how to talk well, speak okay. well, or articulate yourself properly. You can make a ton of money out here. You can make a ton of money. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see what friends given said. That's good info. I actually never considered that they were buying their families black. Yeah, friends given. You know, I mean, I've heard this uh this this argument before about them owning some black people owning slaves and stuff, and they never considered the circumstance under which they would. That was the legal way they could get their families out of slavery. You know what I'm saying? It was to purchase them, like you like you got to purchase a a, a piece of property. You had to purchase your relatives. You had to purchase people out of slavery. That was the only way to get them out. So right. that's what so that's what some of our people right. were doing. But they'll say, "Oh, well, you they own slave." Of course, yeah, they own the they own the, the documents, but they didn't own the people. They just, they just bought them. You know, as family members typically. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, let's move on. Any other questions about that, brother Jarvis? Any other statements? Oh, no, no, sir. That's it. OK, 